What is going on guys? The Rose here and welcome back to another installment of the Game Corner Pocket. I am here. We are going to be live reacting and watching the Pokemon Presents uh, video. We're going to see uh, all the new uh, Pokemon news that they are ready to share with us. We're going to get something new about uh, the upcoming Generation 9 games, uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and uh, as well as some other Pokemon news, uh, possibly a uh, something about the next anime as well, quite possibly. So, yeah, let's uh, get right into it, and we are going to check this out. So here we... Here we go. Hello everyone, I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. In today's Pokemon Presents, we will be sharing information on several of our games, including the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Let's go! But before that, Happy to share some news about the Pokemon World Championships that we're turn the close captioning off. This year, yeah, I can. Get, get that out. August 21st. Please have a look at this video. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International, and I'm delighted to share with you <coughs> updates on our annual Pokemon World Championships. Let's go. After three years, our global community will come together August 18th to 21st in London for not only intense Pokemon battles, but also to be together, celebrating old friendships and creating new ones, all in the spirit of friendly competition. We are expecting thousands of players from around the world to compete in this year's trading card game, video game, and Pokemon tournament deluxe events. Many players have long journeys earning their- I'm honestly still surprised Pokemon tournament's getting any kind of support. Who will earn the title of world champion in 2022? This year, we are also adding many new elements to the show. Okay. With two new Pokemon titles. Uh oh. Please join me in welcoming Pokemon Go, where nearly 100 players will compete across two age divisions, and Pokemon Unite, where 16 teams from Meh. 11 regions will compete. These players have battled all year for their shot to earn the title of the very first world champion in these new categories. We also have a few surprises in store for fans attending in person including our largest ever Pokemon Center World's pop-up shop. For those unable to attend in person, you can follow all the action from wherever you are on our dedicated live streams for each product, including coverage of every championship match for each age division. Pokemon tournaments are held around the world, and we hope the competition at the World Championships inspire many new players to make new friends through battle. So how do you get on the Pokemon Go leaderboard? I'm interested in that one fans today our new Pokemon World Championships Pikachu Trophy. Take a look. Okay, obviously is a silhouette. Oh, here it comes, coming into frame. That's not bad looking. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you in London, and now I would like to hand it back to Mr. Utsu no Mio. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. With the Pokemon World Championships returning after three years, I hear Pokemon Gen 8 music. Forward to exciting battles to keep you on the edge of your seats. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our games. Oh, here we go. For the first Pokemon time, Go, what are we getting in Pokemon Go? In person Pokemon Go Fest events in Berlin and Seattle. And this weekend, we will be holding an event in Sapporo, Japan. Mysterious well, that ain't doing me any good. Ultra Beasts have appeared at each event, and these Ultra Beasts will all gather together during the Pokemon Go Fest 2022 finale event that will be held on August 27th. The finale is a global event that can be enjoyed by trainers oh. wherever they are in the world. Trainers will be able to encounter Pokemon they may not normally see in the wild. They can also encounter the mythical Pokemon Shaman by completing special research. Oh shit. Will okay. you be able to help Ree contend with the Ultra Beasts? And what has become of Professor Willow, who was sucked into Ultra Space through an Ultra Wormhole? Stay tuned for the story's conclusion. Interesting. I'm down for that. I wasn't expecting a second Dofest. Adventure Incense has been added to the game. 
It's a special incense that can Yeah, that's been out for about a week now. Minutes. It can attract Pokémon not normally seen in your area, and rumors say it might even attract legendary Pokémon. I have yet Usually to see a Pokémon pop up using that thing. Minute adventure every day. So far it has not worked for me at all. Years, we've seen Pokémon from every region debut in Pokémon Go. There are now over 700 Pokémon you can register to the Pokédex. Whether you're making new friends at Pokemon Go Fest or having heated battles at the Pokemon World Championships, the entire world is the stage for Pokemon Go, and our adventures are just getting started. Pokemon Unite! I don't care for this game, man. Switch and mobile devices. Pokemon Unite has continued to grow and evolve since its release one year ago. In celebration of its first anniversary, we're adding not only new Pokemon and features to the game, but also many events and campaigns. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll try the fucking game. If it's on the Switch, I could give Quick it a Battle shot, I guess. Party will begin today, August 3rd. Maybe. In this special type of Quick Battle in celebration of our first anniversary, all Pokemon on the field, both Wild and players, are Pikachu. We hope you join in the festivities. Of course. What else would it be if it's a Pikachu exclusive event? Buzzwool will be joining the night battles starting today, August 3rd. Buzzwool is an all-rounder that can grapple opposing Pokemon and launch them into the air. Run amok in battle with Buzzwool's ability, Beast Boost, which temporarily increases Buzzwool's movement speed and basic attack speed each time it knocks out an opposing Pokemon. This nah. first anniversary All right. is just the start of what's to come in Pokemon Unite. We're planning more events for September as well, so please stay tuned. And we're gifting Unite. I see a Sylveon. Lower for Pikachu, Lucario, Blastoise, Snorlax, and Sylveon in celebration of the first anniversary. Ooh, I like Sylveon. That might entice me to try to uh, play this maybe a little bit more. Ooh, what is this? What is this? This is looking awesome so far. Is that red? That's red. Oh shit. Oh, that's right. I forgot he was being added to the game. Oh man, Pokemon Masters, I played it for a little while. It's a game I gave up on after like a month. I don't know, the game's just not that interesting in my opinion. Honestly, Pokemon Unite is a more interesting game. And I haven't even played that one yet. Mewtwo! Oh, Mewtwo's hungry. <laughs> this looks like Mewtwo's back in the Pokemon Cafe remix. Oh, what the fuck? Hungry. Does anybody really even care Get about this game? Drinks and dishes with your cafe staff to treat Mewtwo to a wonderful time. They're off, obviously, obviously saving the biggest news for the last. You know. Cooking to fill Mewtwo up, it can join your staff. Not impressed with Here's this at all so far. How to play the one-minute cooking puzzle mode to satisfy Mewtwo. Tip 1. Gather great staff. Mewtwo likes to order small plates, so gather staff that specialize in small plates. Pikachu, Squirtle, the five-star chef Victini, and the newly arrived Latias are good at those orders. If you want to aim for the high score, try raising your Pokémon staff level. Go to the Pokémon menu to start raising their staff level by training them. Once your great staff is up to the challenge, it's time to begin one minute Not game. interesting on at all. Tip. Just keep on mixing as much as you can. Once you begin one minute cooking, keep on mixing the Pokémon to rack up those combos. Use these tips to make delicious drinks and dishes, and you should be able to satisfy Mewtwo. We hope you'll give one minute cooking a try. And there's more! Following Latias, who just appeared today, Latios will also appear in the future. Wait, there's even more! We have a special campaign underway starting today. This is your chance to get Victini and Latias on your staff. 
Pokemon Cafe Remix is available at no cost to start and is playable on Nintendo Switch. No cost to start because it is littered with microtransactions and gotcha mechanics. Oh, well, here's the Gen 9 news I think everyone was waiting for. This might be the end of the video. Next up, an update Possible. on Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. All right, this is pretty much the biggest news that everyone's looking forward to. Attention, please. Today, we begin the treasure hunt. Treasure hunt? Travel across Paldea. Oh, there's the region named Paldea. Get to know the region. The abundant nature. The rich culture. This is looking really good. I gotta say. The Pokemon. Technia, Donphan, Dragonair, Miss Magius, Pikachu. Of course I didn't name everything that they just showed there. Where will you go? Who will you meet? What will you achieve? Is that some kind of train system? I'm going with, uh, Sprigatito. Learn together. Learn together. Sylveon! Gotta get me one of those. Find something to treasure. What is that? Are those crystal Pokemon? That looks fucking awesome. Actually. Dragonite. Let the treasure hunt begin. Well, that's the new trailer we got. We didn't get an evolution. We're now starting to get a clearer picture of your adventures to come in the Paldea region. I'd like to dive a little deeper into the information presented. Oh, wait. So let's Here we go. To look together, let's. We? Yes, let's do this. Absolutely. The newest titles in the Pokemon series are the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. These titles will be open world RPGs. Nice. First for the Pokemon series. Nope, that's wrong. Sprawling Legends Arceus was first. And vibrant towns weave together to form the Paldea region, where your new adventure will unfold. These are the legendary Pokemon, Coridon and Miraidon. Coridon and Miraidon. A partner in your adventure. Climb on, and together you'll dash across grassy fields. Dude, that those are Move across water. That's cool as fuck. Fly through the sky. That one was a fucking motorcycle. Your partner can change that's forms sick. as needed while you explore every nook and cranny of the region with them. That's fucking awesome. You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. And a special independent study project awaits you. The treasure hunt. Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own here in Paldea. So are they getting rid of the three gyms grand again? Stories are waiting for you. One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. Oh, there you'll you go. They're back. Pokemon gyms and aim for the champion rank. 
Good, I'm glad In they're back days, again. There is no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. Wait, what? Start your very own course along Victory Road. Oh, that's fucking cool. You could battle the gyms this time. Well, I mean, Kanto kind of did that. Two stories you'll but this is fully open Hold world. Many surprises and discoveries as well. Which story will you begin with? How will you progress through them? It is all up to you. Cast of characters you'll meet in the region. Professor Sada and Professor Turo, research legends passed on in the Paldea region. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. And Mr. Jacques is your homeroom teacher who teaches biology. You'll have your battle-loving friend, Nimona. And you'll meet Arvin, an upperclassman and a great cook. There's also Penny, a shy student in your grade. There are gym leaders, too, like Grusha, the ice-type gym leader. The people you meet in Paldea are sure to enrich your adventures. Interesting. The Pokemon of the Paldea region. Many different species of Pokemon also call the Paldea region home. This Pokemon is the Paldean regional form of Wooper. It lives on the land and covers its body with a poisonous film. Well, so it's a poison, uh, poison ground type. Are delightfully squishy Pokemon that are smooth to the touch. And here's Satitan, which has a large body and a hard horn that can freeze its surroundings. Of course, we also have the Pokemon from which you'll choose your first partner. Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxly. Enjoy meeting lots of Pokemon. Skidoo. And complete your Pokedex as Bear part of tick, the adventure. Bear mud, tick, Mudbray. Even more fun with multiplayer. By using the Union Circle, you can enjoy co-op play with up to three friends. You can go look for Pokémon you haven't yet discovered. Or even ride together to race across the map. That is really Enjoy cool. Enjoy all the Paldea region has to offer with family and friends. Yeah, Terra, the Terra Crystal Pokemon. Those are fucking awesome. The Terrastal Phenomenon makes Pokemon shine like gems. That looks so freaking cool. All Pokémon in the Paldea region are able to terastalize, which can provide a boost to a Pokémon's type and make its moves stronger. Oh shit. That's pretty cool. Some Pokémon will change type when they terastalize. Really? Very interesting. What type they become seems to depend on that Pokémon's Terra type. That's pretty cool. For example, Eevee! an Eevee would typically remain normal type after terastalizing, but there could be Eevee that become grass or water type after terastalizing. Why? We already have Leafeon and Vaporeon. Pokemon with rare Terra types. Take on the Terra raid battles. Okay. Pokemon that have rare Terra types are more likely to appear in Terra raid battles. Let's go. This is gonna be like the Dynamax uh, you can challenge gimmick. Terra Pokemon in these battles with up to three other trainers. This is a new kind of raid battle where you can attack or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. Oh, okay. Try to cooperate with your allies to get the upper hand in these battles. After you successfully defeat hey, it's Terra Gardevoir. Pokemon. You'll get the opportunity to catch it for yourself. Okay, this is pretty cool. I really like this. We've kept all the things you love about Pokémon, while evolving the adventure you can have in Pokémon Scarlet and Pokémon Violet. We hope you look forward to the day you set out on your adventure. Very cool. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games are available to pre-order at participating retailers now.
Your independent study in the Paldea region begins in three months. We eagerly await your enrollment. That's all for today's So this game is packed. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. So this game is packed with things to do, three main stories, you can complete them in any order you wish, that's, that's fucking cool as hell, man, I mean, they're making this one the biggest Pokemon game ever, uh, I'm not too excited about a Terrastal Eevee, I mean, I think it's pretty cool, but why would you give it types that it could already evolve into. Um, you know, give it types that it doesn't have. Like, give it a steel type or a rock type, maybe. Um, something like that. Or a ground type, EV, even. But everything uh, they've showed us so far, we they still haven't showed us uh, the uh, evolutions for the starters. Uh, we obviously don't know the full Pokedex that's going to be in this game yet. Although we've seen a lot of it. You know, we've seen... Uh, we already know Psyduck, obviously the Eevee line, Pikachu, Raichu. They gave us... They showed us our first uh, regional form. Which uh, I'm sure... There's got to be a Nintendo Direct somewhere down the line. Before this game comes out, I'm sure we're going to get more information uh, from that. When they, when they Whenever that would happen. Obviously, don't take my word for it, but I'm just thinking it's going to happen. It, it, it wouldn't make sense if it doesn't happen. You know, I would think we're going to get a Nintendo Direct um, before November. Because we, we've only got, what, one this year so far? And we're already in August, so. But yeah, guys, so that was pretty cool. Um, honestly, wasn't expecting anything you know, I wasn't expecting major news. There was a rumor about the 13th Pokemon series maybe getting revealed. Uh, rumors of a new evolution. Of course, now we pretty much know what they were hinting at with the Terrastal Eevee. I think the Terrastal gimmick looks really freaking cool. Uh, being able to change Pokemon types based on the uh, based on its Terra types. And now not only do they have their normal uh, typings, now they have a Terra typing. So... Uh, if you give them, you know, a crystal of that type, you can change the Pokemon's type completely. I think it's pretty cool that the Terra Crystals will boost um, attacks based on uh, the type of, of uh, Pokemon uh, they are. So, you know, if you have a ter uh, Terrastal Fire-type Pokemon, use a Fire-type move, it'll get boosted even more. Not only will it still get stabbed, but it'll get a boosted uh, attack uh, boost from the uh, the Terra, the Terrastal crystals or the Terra crystals. I think it's really cool. It looks, it looks awesome. Um, I'm interested. I'm interested to see what uh, shiny Terrastal forms would look like. That would look badass. But anyways, guys, I like the Pokemon Go uh, stuff for the most part. I'm interested. I want to learn how to get onto the leaderboards or even check my global ranking to see if I even stack up. Because I wouldn't mind trying to get on the uh, Pokemon Go, uh, you know, top 100 to compete for a championship. I play a lot of uh, Pokemon Go Battle League. I have won almost 3,000 battles uh, in the, what, the Battle League's been out for two years now. So I'm averaging about 1,500 wins a year. I don't play the, the Go Battle League every day, but, you know, I do do a lot of battling with it. Um, with the game, it's it's cool. I like the uh, the fact that we're getting another Go Fest, uh, global Go Fest this month. So we'll be looking out for that. We'll be playing that for sure. I guess I'll give Pokemon Unite a try. I mean, it, it was a game that never really interested me, but I never really cared to look into it either. And if since it's on the Switch, I don't have to play on my phone, which is good. So um, yeah, I guess I'll give that a shot. It won't hurt, right? Why not? It's free. Do it. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this uh, little video. Um, this is uh, Game Corner Pocket, of course. Check out the Derailed Podcast every Sunday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Less Than Serious every Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, unless stated otherwise. 
Uh, last night we talked about the passing of legendary sports broadcaster Vin Scully, as well as Gordon Ramsay being canceled for um, pointing uh, pointing out um, you know at lambs for uh, being food. So uh, yeah, check that out, and uh, that's on the Derailed uh, YouTube channel, of course. Uh, check out the Derailed Patreon where. We have a um, two-part wrestling uh, conversation coming out with myself, Casey's Raw, uh, Big Tex, and uh, the Renegade, Joe Compton, uh, Pure Country Entertainment. He's been on my channel a few times uh, already now uh, this year. Um, so we got a two-parter of that coming out. We have a new episode of Gamer Stories with uh, myself and Casey's Raw uh, talking about the Sega Dreamcast. So that's going to be on the D-Road Patreon as well as the uh, weekly post-show after the main show. You get all that for a dollar a month and much more. <coughs> Excuse me. So you get all that for a dollar a month and much more. Follow me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, social media is there for when you... Uh, so you, you can keep updated uh, as to when I go live or upload a video. Speaking of going live, I should be back uh, on the channel tonight live with a full Game Corner podcast uh, with Casey as Raw. If um, if he's available, we'll be doing it. If not, then uh, I'll just be making another video talking about some of the uh, recent gaming news that has uh, broke last night regarding the AEW Fight Forever video game, uh, the recent um, announcement of the Sega Genesis Mini 2 that people aren't happy about, and uh, a couple other things as well. So, uh, should be back on the channel around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time tonight, so uh, look out for that. Anyways, guys, all the links are in the description box down below. Greatly uh, thank you for uh, thank you for watching. Check out uh, everything. And uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Game Corner Pocket. Pokemon Presents live reactions, uh, and watch along. So next time, guys, my name is The Rose, and I'll catch your ass down the road.